All right, well, we've come back to Keystone Mine slash Quarry, and I'd love to get in here. But we have found at it. Oh, there's another side you can get in right there. That's all right, though. But, uh, oh boy. Yeah. That is a giant yeah. ore chute right there. Holy cow. And further down, I think there's, I think there's another something down there. Yeah. Absolutely. The grate on the floor. And there's stalls and stuff holding up a holding small up stove right there. there. Yeah. This is an interesting spot already. Cool. So, want to lead the way? Yeah. I'm just going to film this here. So, for reference, that's what the entrance looks like. It's a bit sloughed in. A few things have fallen in so far. So, hopefully, the rest of the mine isn't too bad. There we go. Oh man, this is gonna be kind of awkward to get over. Sorry, there's a lot of. I'm gonna grab the uh, oxygen meter. Just. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty calm in there. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not feeling much air movement at all. Ugh. So. That's not a false floor, but it looks like it might be. This is going to be an interesting one. That is for sure. And here I am only bringing the one flashlight. You on there? We're good. Yeah. A lot of spider webs getting on my mouth already. Once you get this past this, it looks like it'll get a whole lot easier, though. Yeah, I'm just going to turn the camera off for a second here. So now that we're a little bit further in the mine, past that little blockage there, we have found this. It is just an enormous ore chute, literally 20 feet tall. That is a giant piston that would open this thing up. And what they use to hold back the rock is just bent rail. That's like almost railroad gauge rail too. That is. It is. It's gotta be. That, that, that is, it's enormous. Massive. That is absolutely incredibly huge. So the you tunnel definitely your, goes on. Watch your uh, step. Yeah, it looks like someone built a small bridge there. Is the wood okay? Uh, yep. Okay. There's boot prints on it. Yeah, I figured there would be out here. So, I don't know if this is a false floor. I think it's just a few inches above the actual floor, possibly used to level it out. But, realistically speaking, this is a rather terrifying situation. As, uh, wow, this is a big old tunnel. There was a lot put into this place. I'm, I'm just astounded that this is all still here. I'm just hoping this board doesn't give way. Sorry, Doug, I'm just taking my time on the board. Oh, you're good. Because these nails scare me. Looks like it starts to get pretty sketchy up here, but. Okay. I mean, I'll let it happen already. Yeah. Man, they all had a vein right here, that's for sure. Wow, that was a pretty tall vein. It just goes and goes. It's like 30, 40 feet up. Right, let's see the last bit. They did the same there. Air monitor still good? Yep. Okay, we're 21. Okay. Okay. There is water movement. So there is flow from inside the mine. Oh, this is slicker, slick mud. Slickery. That's the old rails right there, or the old rail bed, I assume. Just right on over. So, a little alcove here. I'm not seeing 
any further signs of mineralization. A couple really small veins up there, but nothing big. That is deck cord looks like. I uh, know it looks like electrical wire instead. Very similar with how it's degraded though. What is incline here? Oh, is it incline? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of little stoping down here. Uh, we should have brought helmets because uh, there's a lot of little rocks being held up. Yeah, I think we're about to hit a dam. Uh, I would believe it. Which is probably where we'll probably have to stop here, this mine. But we'll check it out at least. Oh, that is a proper incline too. That's got rails and everything. It does, yeah. It's, I couldn't see the end of it. Yeah. I'll get a little closer here. Try not to get impaled by anything at fault field. That is tall. There's a lot going on in this mine. Well, you finding something? Or? No, just staying in the line pretty much. Okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But even still, how deep is that water? Is it, or is the dam cover the whole thing? Uh, well, you see how tall the dam is? Uh, yeah, there's water behind it there. Yeah, it's not, it's, it would need to be set leaks, but. Yeah. We'll, well, we could at least come back. I'm gonna get out of the way of this one. Let me see. Oh, just, again, this is, this ground is so loose. That is just an enormous ore chute. That is easily 20, 25 feet tall. Solid metal. Look at the frame on that thing. Yeah. Those are proper I-beams and stuff, man. This is, Wow. Yes, it is, sir. This is. Yeah, I'm gonna try and see peek if over. I can take a peek there. Oh, nothing back there. Okay. Yeah. I'll at least take a look to see how much water's behind the dam. Because it's been so wet lately, it'll probably have a lot, but or not. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot. Looks like maybe even more water in front of the dam than behind. Oh man, this wood is frightening me. Oh no, it actually just stops there. Oh, does it? Wow. I think so. Got an awesome spot for dam, but... Yeah, it just stops right there. Okay. So that might be... I don't know. It could be a sump where they retrieved water for drills. Yeah, I mean, there's a pipe right there. It could be that too, yeah. Could be dynamite storage, yeah. actually, being this deep in the mine. There used to be a bulletin board that looks to the side here. Okay. But, yeah. The ground is very good right here. It echoes. But yeah, there's nothing in there. Just stops right there, which is disappointing because this is a gigantic tunnel. It must like have been. A train, like a truck bed or something. Oh, and behind you there's the drill. Big. Oh, yeah. Drill it in the wall. Yeah. That's pretty neat. That looks like an older style one. Yeah, I'm wondering if this was the area of my first and they came in and did all these improvements later. Or... I'm thinking this is later. Yeah, because this is way too fancy for... For pre-1900s, yeah. Okay. It's just enormous. Sweet. Well, hopefully we can find another tunnel or something. I'm going to take a few pictures here. Let me know light. Yeah, I don't think I will. We'll see though. But this is going to be the first of a couple mines we'll visit today, and this is already awesome. Incredible. All right. Hopefully, see you again in a few minutes. So we've come a long way up. The attic that we entered was down that way here. And there's a road that comes right along the ridge. That's it. And we get some pretty spectacular views while climbing another sh uh, short, small road right there. And then another road, a little cut coming this way. Hi, Doug. Hello. And then we believe we found a nice trim tower. There's a lot of very heavy duty cable kind of just sitting around it. And there's these very large uh, 
concrete pedestal remains that have a lot of metal sticking stuff into them. And it probably comes all the way from the quarry up at the top. But I do want to climb up a little bit and see what's up there. But we just have not found evidence of other adits, which is really interesting because the stuff we saw just indicates there has to be other levels. So, hopefully we can find something that indicates as much, and hopefully, well, I don't know, maybe get some better views and kind of see what we can find. Your thoughts, Doug? It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. That would make sense if they had the road up here, though, to get all that concrete. Oh, and yeah. Timbers, so. And maintain check it. out that other road that kind of went up, too above the mine we were just at. Yep, we can check that out again here in a minute because we will be heading back that way eventually. So, cool. I just want to see if I can climb to the top of this pile, see if it leads into the quarry or anything else. Because this is a giant trim tower. So, there was a lot of rock coming out of wherever this led to. So, we will hopefully be seeing here in just a minute. Well, after coming back down, it seems like the tram cape goes all the way to the top, but the hill gets steeper and rougher and rougher. So I'm not going to risk anything, like life and limb or something like that. So we're going to head back down. There should be another road that we're going to catch. And see if it leads to a tunnel or anything. Hopefully it does. Because the complex of tunnels that we saw, just... It basically means that there has to be more. So we'll see what there is along the way and hopefully find some good stuff. Catch you again soon. So we just we just started on, the, on that road that leads uh, up to where we were, and we found an interesting little possible hole in the wall. Anything? Nope, not anymore. Might have been something at one point, but it was. You can tell. Oh yeah. Okay. So there used to be an adit there. That might lead to the levels that we were looking at. There was the other road a little lower too, so. Yeah. And we've got to uh, inter intersect that uh, incline or ore pass somehow. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna keep walking on the road and hopefully we'll find something. A lot of potential at this site. Well, we're now above where we were first. This is the, this is what the entrance to that tunnel looks like from up above the main one that we went in earlier. And we didn't really find anything, especially nothing open on the roads that we did look at here. And there's not a whole lot of sign of much else at this side. So we think we're going to come back at a later time with a drone and really see what we can find. Because there's just not much uh, that really indicates there's stuff open. There's a lot of different sites that indicate there were at its entrance is all over the place. Like right here, this looks slightly sloughed in, and yeah. this could have been an added at some point. Cause it's right in line with that other one too. Yeah, and it's right at what looks like a waste rock pile right here. Yeah. So, it's just stuff all over the place here. And really, we'll just have to come back at another time with the drone and see things from above. Because stuff like this could be possibly really obvious with the drone. So, probably start with the drone up top too. Yeah. Come down and both ways. Uh -huh. A lot of oh. options. A lot of options to come back to. So, I think we're done at this site. We're going to head on to the second site for the day and hopefully catch some more interesting stuff at a mine. Yeah, that definitely had to be an at it. Yeah. It didn't look, I mean, you could dig it out, but it, it'd be a lot of work. Yeah. Pretty thick. Yep, so we'll come back to check out this stuff again another time. We'll hopefully see you then.